to the mountains, sing to the seas, raise your voices, lift your heart. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my plea. You have said. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God. The communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with with your your spirit. spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, today in the Gospel, Jesus invites each one of us to become his disciples. What is the meaning of discipleship? What are the three important qualities a disciple should have? in order to follow Jesus Christ. The first one is, he should totally depend upon God and he should trust God. When he trusts God, he surrenders himself to God. There he finds God's love is guiding him. And second important quality to be disciple of Jesus is, that he should be open to God, openness to God. And the third one is perseverance in following Jesus Christ. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, as we participate in this Holy Eucharist, let us ask the Lord to give us this grace. Always trust God and always be open to God and always have the quality of virtue of perseverance in our lives. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my my words, words, in in what what I have have done, in what I have failed to do, through through my my fault, fault, through my fault, through my my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever watching, on the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord, Lord our God. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who teaches that you abide in the hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace, as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us go down and there confuse their language. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 11, verses 1 to 9. The whole earth had one language on the same words. And as people migrated from the earth, they found a plain in the land of Shinar and settled there. And they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they had bricks for stone and beat man for mortar. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the heavens. And let us make a name for ourselves lest we be dispersed over the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of man had built. And the Lord said, Behold, they are one people, and they have all one language. And this is only the beginning of what they will do, and nothing that they prosper to do 
will now be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and there confuse their language, so that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord dispersed them from there over the face of all the earth, and they left off building the city. Therefore, its name was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the languages of all the earth, and from there the Lord dispersed them over the face of all the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response. Blessed the people. Blessed the people. The Lord has chosen. The Lord has chosen. As His heritage. As His heritage. The Lord frustrates the designs of the nations. He defeats the plans of the peoples. The designs of the Lord stands forever. The plans of His heart from age to age. Your response. Blessed the people. Blessed the people. The Lord has chosen. The Lord has chosen. As His heritage. As His heritage. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord. The people He has chosen all His heritage. From the heavens of the Lord looks forth. He sees all the children from men. Your response. Blessed the people. Blessed the people. The Lord has chosen. The Lord has chosen. Yes, His heritage. Yes, His heritage. From the place where the dwells, He gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all and consider all their deeds. Your response. Blessed the people. Blessed the people. The Lord has chosen. The Lord has chosen. As His heritage. As His heritage. your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint mark glory to you o lord 
Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 8, verses 34 and chapter 9, verses 1. At the time, calling the crowd to him with his disciples, Jesus said to them, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and the Gospels will save it. For what profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? For what can a man give in return for his soul? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in the adulterous and sinful generation, of him will the Son of Man also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with his holy angels. And he said to them, Truly I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the kingdom of God after it has come with power. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today in the Gospel, Jesus reminds us to deny ourselves take up our cross and follow him. The cross is a great symbol of Christianity since it first carried the body of Jesus on Mount Calvary. We have two choices before us, the world and the cross of Christ. Uh, there are two choices in front of us, whether the world or the cross of Jesus Christ. The world has a very beautiful appeal, a shortcut to happiness and easy at start, but becomes heavy and disappointment as time passes. The world gives us an easy start, very attractive start, but as the time goes on, it becomes very difficult for us and disappointment for us. The cross of Christ appears difficult and challenging at the start, but it gets easier if carried patiently over the years. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, unless Jesus Christ carried his cross, unless Jesus Christ died on the cross on the Mount Calvary, he could have not raised from the death. There could have not be resurrection. St. Paul says, if Jesus Christ has not risen, then our faith in Jesus Christ is waste. Our God, Jesus Christ, has a very special in the, in the world history because he is the God who died for our sins on the cross and he has victoriously raised from the death. He is a risen Christ. Nobody else has raised from the death. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, today we have a challenge before us. Whether we choose the world or we choose the cross of Christ, we have choices. The cross of Christ may find difficult in the beginning, but it is a victorious cross and we find at the end a greater satisfaction. Eventually, it will bring us happiness without any end. Let us therefore deepen our faith in Jesus Christ by meditating on his words, allowing his words to sink into the soil of our souls till they change and transform our attitudes and build strong convictions that leads us to action. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, today as we reflect upon the cross of Christ, as the followers of Jesus Christ, we need to follow the cross with a deep faith. Today God invites each one of us to be a greater disciple of Jesus Christ, 
especially a disciple who has total trust in God. A disciple who has total trust in God, he surrenders, self-surrendering himself to God. When he self-surrenders himself to God, then God takes a prime and center place in his life. The selfishness is thrown away and it gets disappeared. God becomes center of his life. Total dependence, dependence, total trust in God leads to God's centrality in our life. And the second important aspect is that with the openness to God's will in our daily life. As the disciples of Jesus Christ, we should not get alienated from the realities. The call to discipleship is here and now. Everyone is given a daily cross. Our difficulties, our misunderstandings, our pains, our sorrows and sickness, illness, ailments, all these things are crosses in our life. We need to carry them and have a total trust on God and follow Jesus Christ. This is what today Jesus invites each one of us. We have to take up our cross and we have to follow Jesus Christ. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, let us ask the Lord to give us this grace. And finally, Jesus is asking his disciples to follow him, which means to persevere in following Jesus Christ. It is not one day or two days following Jesus Christ. It is a lifelong commitment. We need to follow Jesus Christ lifelong till our death. As we are baptized Christians, as we receive Jesus Christ in our hearts, we need to follow him till our last minute, second journey on this earth. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, this is what we see in the first reading also. God invites Noah and his sons and makes a covenant with them. I am your God, you are my people. But what they did, they tried to achieve their selfishness by building a big tower and want to reach heaven. And the two sins the what they commit is that the first sin is the love of price, self-boasting and craving for name and fame. And second sin they committed is that the love of security, to save money, build huge houses. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, we shall never find we will never find a lasting joy in being praised. It will be found in knowing and praising God. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, we shall never find our security in material prosperity, but obeying God faithfully. The floods at the time of Noah were a thunderclap of warning against sin. But we will notice that our lives are no better after the flood than they were before. The human condition is just like it was with Adam and Eve. We decide what is best. We can never raise up and claim the place of God. This is the story of mankind to this very day. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, let us ask the Lord to give us the grace to be always faithful to God's word, to have the total trust on God, to be openness to God and to have that quality and virtue of perseverance in following Jesus Christ. Any trouble, any difficulty, any situation of calamity comes, I will not leave Jesus Christ. I cling on to him. I am with him always. He is with me and we grow together as God's children. Let us ask God in this Holy Eucharist the grace of perseverance in following Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of our hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed. 
Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of the Holy Church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do Your will the source of eternal reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks and praise to our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks for the most holy. Through your beloved son Jesus Christ. Your word through whom you made all things whom you send us as Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord of hosts, Heaven and earth, heaven are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord and the process your rejection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Paul Anthony our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, o God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom Amen. come, thy Amen. will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have yeah. mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Lord. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <laughs> The table spread where the saints of God are fed. He and wise has chosen people come and die. Where this manna he don't feed and supplies our every need. Oh, it's sweet to sit with Jesus all the time. Come and die, the Master call it. Come and die. You may feast at Jesus' table all the time, all the time. He who fed the multitude turned the water into wine. To the hungry call it now, come and die. The disciples came to land, thus obeying Christ's command. For the master called them to them, come and die. There they found their hearts desired, and fish upon the fire. Thus he satisfies the hungry every time.
come and die, the master calleth, come and die. You may feast at Jesus' table all the time, all the time. He who fell the multitude, turned the water into wine, to the hungry call it now, come and die. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for the food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Mama Mary, help me be open to let the light shine to me. Mama Mary, teach me obedience, make me transparent like you. made of God May all you have will come true To you alone I am satisfied Forever blessing His name Mama open to let the light shine through me. Mama Mary, teach me obedience, make me transparent.